Hey guys, welcome. I hope you are enjoying the colder air of, of December as we are gearing into Christmas. And uh, our minds have been here for a long time, it looks like. Judging on the decorations outside in Nightdale, as well as the music that's been playing since November. Uh, but we are excited uh, to be able to provide some opportunities for you and your family as we uh, want to uh, love our Savior uh, by loving you guys, loving our neighbors uh, where you're at, and providing some good resources for you. And so I want to share with you uh, several events that are happening, our activities uh, for this month to help you and well as your family. Uh, to worship uh, our Savior this Christmas. Uh, so the first uh, resource I'd like to share with you is uh, a couple of guides that we've been able to put out for the Advent season. One is for uh, just your personal devotional use, or you could use with your families, um, that goes into every night or every day of this month as we lead into the Advent season. Uh, the second one is a family activity guide, uh, especially for younger children, uh, that gives you uh, something for each day of the week to think through. Uh, as well as some activities to do and provide for you within the booklet. And so those of you who have younger children, it's a great resource just to help uh, provide some uh, family nights. And I really encourage you to take advantage of the holidays and uh, take about 10, 15 minutes together in the evening time or whenever you can with your children and create some memories involving Jesus Christ and worshiping our Savior. Uh, I found that as my children have gotten older, it's one of the things that they recall when they think of Christmas, they think of some of the times we've had together uh, and pointing to Christ. And so I just encourage you to do that. So if you'd like to have those resources, you can contact our church office. So you can email us. Uh, you can email J. Korth at greenpines.org, uh, and he can uh, send those to you, or come by the office anytime on Sundays or through the week, and we can uh, give you a hard copy of those as well. So take advantage of that. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you about is something new this year. Uh, we've not done it before, but it is very similar to some things we've done in the past, and that is a um, interactive Christmas path that's going to be provided here at Green Pines on December 13th. Uh, from 3 to 5 p.m., and uh, it is uh, something where if you come, uh, you can bring uh, your family, your children. It will be an outdoor event that uh, will place you and your families in Bethlehem uh, and going through some of the events that happened in the Christmas story. So it might be a fun way to uh, teach your family and uh, help them to think through and relive uh, the Christmas story itself. And so we encourage you to come out, uh, and we will, again, be outdoors. It'll go along the path back behind uh, our, our facilities on our, on our campus. And so if you came to our uh, fall festival, it'll follow the same similar path, and I uh, will provide some uh, good activities uh, for you and your family to do. So encourage you to do that on December 13th uh, from 3 to 5 p.m. The last thing I want to share with you is we do plan to have our Christmas Eve candlelight service. Uh, we will be doing this at 5.30 p.m. The big difference is that we will be outside. Uh, we will have some uh, lights set up as well as um, bringing your candle. We'll have candles available for you, but it'll be a brief time of worship at 5.30. Uh, I expect it to be about 30 minutes. Uh, we will not have communion this time, uh, but we will have some singing uh, that we'll do and a brief message uh, in an outdoor setting. So that'll be at 5.30 on Christmas Eve, a 30-minute service uh, a way for us to worship our Savior as families together this year. So I wanted you to know about that. I look forward to seeing you. Uh, it's been great uh, to get in touch with many of you and uh, see how the Lord is working in your life. So uh, I really look forward to Christmas this year. Uh, maybe some of the things that we typically do will... Uh, not be done so that we can focus on what really does matter. And so I hope you have a Merry Christmas and God bless.